Particularly fine today. La di da. Oh my! Oh. What are you? I'm a beaver, and your lunch. Man, he ate me. Poor Owen. He ate you. You heard me. And then that dirty furred fly. Tail turned to me and said, Tell all your jungle friends we're back and we're hungry. Then he ate me. But you just said, And then he had a lion and a hippo and even a shark. No, two sharks. He ate every piece of food he could find. <laughs> Holy bananas! George, glad you make it out okay. His uh, appetite was unstoppable. But uh, beavers only eat wood. Do I look like a beaverologist? All I know is what I saw. But... Would a crazy cute little chinchilla lie to you? Hey, Owen Wright. Chinchilla's the cutest. And George already tell beavers not to be in jungle. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Beaver's back for sure. I think you're right. George, watch out for this! Three, two! Hey, Georgie boy! Long time no see! Long time not long enough. Whoa, you're not still mad about that little dam I built, are you? That was half a season ago. I see. Look, I was in a bad place then, but that's why I'm back, to make up for what we did. So, you know eat sharks? What? I've never even seen a shark. I mean, I know what they are. I've seen them in books. But no, I don't eat sharks. Why would you ask me that? <coughs> What's he doing? What's that noise mean? He wants to hug it out. He forgives you. You too, buddy. You too. <coughs> 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 One is eating everything in the jungle. Papayas, avocados, hams. They're all gone. Well, who else could it be? Those flat tails have big teeth, big mouths, and big bellies. George, go see beavers already. They nice. We hug. If you're so sure everything's fine, then give us some of your food. Sure. <laughs> you cute when you're hungry. Who wants snacks? Food stolen! Wow, who would do such a thing? Wood chips, maple syrup can. Damn build a monthly? That's a beaver magazine! But three tooth say beaver's all good now. Maybe he not tell the beaver truth. They don't seem to be eating everything. Maybe they not hungry now? <gasps> Hmm, something's going on around here. Boo! Boo! We do steak out? We do steak out? We do steak out. <laughs> I brought coffee and banana donuts. Me no care about donuts, eh? George want answers. Now! <sighs> this isn't good cop, bad cop, George. At least not yet, remember? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, donut pancake? They really like logs, huh? I'll be right back. Ooh. Hi! <laughs> wow, that lot of food. Oh, uh, yes, and uh, look how cute I am. Oh, man, <laughs> you super cute. <laughs> okay, bye. What did I miss? Nah, nothing suspicious. What's he eating back there? That 110% suspicious. We go undercover. George, hey, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed like a tree? And uh, I'm gonna say, careful? Yeah. Hold on. 
If you're gonna accuse me of building a giant robotic war beaver, you're way out of- What? What? No, we accuse you of stealing all food in jungle. What under tarp, huh? Huh? A friendship statue. That I was carving. <laughs> it's clear that we beavers aren't wanted here. And that hurts. It hurts bad. Come on, guys. Let's go someplace where people don't judge you on the size of your teeth or the flatness of your tail. Uh, Ape, George Feely do something wrong there. What are you doing with all those bananas, Owen? Um, I'm hiding from those dirty flat tails. Yes, they're right behind me. But beavers leave jungle. Uh, um, uh... Chinchillas, it's go time! Woo! A dance party! I didn't think so, George! That's right. It's payback time for everyone in this stupid jungle! <laughs> hey, what jungle ever do to you? It's the worst! It's like a sauna out here! And do not even get me started on the pitting. But not any longer. Not with Amy. With Origin, I will explain for you via these clips from the DVD bonus featurette, The Making of Amy. We fed her and trained her. And then we fed her some more. And just as we planned, she grew. And grew. And grew. The beavers, with their dams and water, were our only threat. And now they're gone. <laughs> Amy's gonna tear down your stupid jungle, then we'll build our home. We'll put cages up, maybe big cardboard boxes, and tons of exercise oils. Aww, you're so cute when you angry. I'm not cute! Aww. What if we just built those things for you? Exercise wheels and such. Away from water? You, 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 you do that for us? Oh, wow. Uh, I, guess, uh, I, mean, I guess I should have asked first. <laughs> oh, boy, this is embarrassing. Uh, it's okay, Gus. Call Amy off. We came down. She's real angry about all the training we put her through. And hungry. Uh, slight hit. <laughs> And as Amy tore through the jungle, George had a very strange dream. In it, he and Three Tooths danced under a waterfall by a rainbow. Owen was there too, but he wouldn't go near the water. And he had a little chinchilla-sized umbrella, which was really cute. Also, there were arm wrestling unicorns. And when he awoke, George knew exactly what he had to do. <gasps> George needs to arm wrestle unicorns! What? But first, we get beavers to build giant dam and wet down giant Amy. Head to Canada! Three, two, beavers! We sorry. Chinchillas trick, George. But me need help now. Jungle need big dam. Please? You just said the magic word. Uh, please? Dam. A bit of a rush job, but you'll do. Amy. Come here, cutie cutie! See you later, beautiful. Side. Ape, you man the special attacks. What is this thing? Her destruction. We talk about this, okay? We're 
nothing but splinters. No! Never give up! George has one last idea! <laughs> George, brilliant! More warm! More good feeling! Other chinties treat her mean. She just needs hugs. One last question. How did you beavers know Owen's diabolical plan? Whoa, this is awkward. We were actually gonna destroy the jungle ourselves. You know, revenge for kicking us out the first time. <laughs> Good thing you don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Me learn one thing for sure. Everybody up to something. <laughs> and how? <laughs> There comes a time in every animal's life when they just can't do the things they used to. When they slow down just a bit. When time seems to have passed them by. Fortunately, the Jungle Geriatric Set has George, King of the Jungle, to help them in their golden years. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, George Fix! Could there be a more thoughtful jungle king than George? I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. I mean, it's, it's not like I've done any research or anything. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome. Finally, liquid time! Hey, evil doctor, leave old animals alone! What? George say, leave old animals alone! Do you see? Any old animals here? Uh, I'm a mad scientist, not a monster. Then what's that? That? That is a time machine I just finished. And, hey, yeah, quit yeah, it! Yeah, yeah. We stop this instead, okay? No, not okay! Not okay! <laughs> You missing parents, too? That's ten elderly animals lost in the last week. Hmm. What they all have in common? Well, they were old, they move slowly, they'd be easy to catch. Bernard! <laughs> Bad snake. Bernard, no eat old animals. George, no care, they taste good. Open face. Open face now. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. There. You safe now, Grandma. Wait. There's something still in there. Bernard. What in the world? Ah! Ah! Ah, my back. Rover. You scaly split tongue serpent! You think you can eat us and get away with it? It's crumpets for you. What are you two jackalopes staring at? <laughs> Be quick about it. Wait, I know you. You're Lloyd, Lloyd of the Jungle. And you're his mentor, Gorilla. Yeah, so you're not as dumb as you look. Because you look pretty dumb. I, uh... George, Lloyd and Gorilla were our predecessors until they mysteriously vanished 50 years ago. Down this rapscallion's gullet. Ah, still got it. I shoot, I shoot, yeah. A toast to Lloyd and Gorilla back in the jungle, safe and sound. Woo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell George all about being king in old times. <gasps> You fight T-Rex? First of all, it's King Lloyd to you, sideburns. Go get a haircut, you hippie. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, that's not really appropriate. The only thing that's not appropriate is your slaughter of the Queen's English. You want to hear about the old days, huh? Do ya? Uh, George don't know anymore. It was tough, but that's how we liked it. We didn't swing on vines, we swung on thorns! Yes! And when Lloyd hits 
something. It was never a tree. Ah! Too soft! Too soft indeed. I see. Well, George and I do things a little differently now. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, it's true! George and Ape show you! <laughs> Hyenas, share a water hole, okay? Or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> or else what? Um, or else George make everyone get along. <laughs> oh, your threats are as weak as a bowl of mint jelly. <laughs> this is how you make animals behave. Ooh, it's bad. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Thank you. That's a fine blue line. There it is. <laughs> oh. Now they'll learn to get along. Look, Georgie boy. <laughs> I appreciate you looking after things when I was all nowhere in a steak's gut. But you're as soft as wet buckwheat. Huh? You ain't got no mustard, boy. What? We're taking our old jobs back. Got it. Um, no. That's not how this works. That's exactly how it works. Technically, they never reside. So Lloyd and Gorilla are still Jungle King and Mentor. He mean and out of touch. You make animals sad. Oh, I'll make someone else sad right now. Stop. That is not... And if Lloyd, King of Jungle... Then what, George and Ape? Hmm. George, Jester of Jungle? Ape, Knave of the Jungle? Ah, quit your whining. You're lucky you still got jobs. And them fancy new hats. What the hey hey's going on here? I don't recall giving you Trunk Nose's leave to be all flappity flap flap with your ears. <laughs> If I wanted to see all these colors, I would fight a rainbow! Now mud it up, bird brains! If you exercised them hind quarters as much as you did that mouth, you wouldn't be such a tumble lord! Hey, Hippo perfect the way Hippo is. It's called tough love, and because you let the jungle go soft, there's a lot more of it coming! George, trying to help you. Listen, Charlie. I need your help like I need another ward on my butt. Hey, I got 20 warts on my butt! <laughs> You're fired! So scram! Did George make mistake? No. I didn't think old people could be so mean either. But what we do now? There isn't much we can do. It's against jungle law to interfere with the king. Let's just go home, relax, read a good book or two, and figure it out in the morning. The move! Find your own bed, sick, you bums. We're taking over this dump. This means war. But it's against jungle law. And it's gorilla war. We win easy, ha! <laughs> they old, we young! And so, George and Ape went underground to fight against Lloyd and Gorilla's old-school jungle tyranny. <laughs> but no matter what they tried, Lloyd and Gorilla's years of experience meant they had seen it all before and knew exactly what to do. They're always one step ahead. George Wish never pulled them from Snake in first place. Yes, well, unless you have a time machine. Finally, now I can... I'm going back to bed. <laughs> now we just stop me and... Whoa! George, you sent us back too far. George? George, send us back, send us back, send us back! That good. 
No. No, that's not good. <gasps> not good at all. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this is an 18-carat jungle. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you jackalopes are, but I know I don't like you already. We, George and Ape, we stuck in dinosaur land when time machine broke. It took us 50 years to make a new one. Well, I'll be. It is them. Not for long, it ain't. It's Splitsville for you two. <laughs> We're older than you now. We know all the tricks. <laughs> and we have time to invent new ones. <laughs> oh, it's ring a ding ding time. See, George finally understands what you mean. <laughs> oh, no. no. You kids can have the job back. Oh, we're getting too creaky for this clam bake. Even though technically you're older than us. Okay, but George's back still hurt. Boy, oh, he's sleeping all the time. Uh, Lloyd's still king. Nope, nope, you're the man. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. 